Hi, I'm Carla and welcome to my channel where I'm going to post fashion, beauty and lifestyle related videos all with a touch of ethics and sustainability. This is a necklace by a local brand, the top was made by me, not very well but that's not important now. And my pants are thrifty. And today I thought I will offer you a tour of my closet, which I really love and which I'm really proud of. So I'm going to start with this part where I keep my coats, jackets, dresses, skirts, pants and these longer things. And I'm going to start by telling you about this one. I really like it, but I didn't buy it the first time I saw it because it was also kind of expensive. It's by a brand from Bucharest, Musaat. <clears throat> and I got it from a super nice local store with things made, that were made in Romania. And this is super fluffy, like... And I also love the pattern, although I used to hate animal patterns because I thought uh, that they were kitschy and stuff like that. Then I have this jacket that I found in another closet. I have this one that I basically keep just for the hood. It's the only jacket that has a hood. Then this one, so I love this so much. Sporty and like colorful, and it does keep warm. Although, yes, I wish you had a hood. This is the 350 that I started thrifting in like March, I think, 2018. Uh, after not really doing it. Then I have this one by a guy who finished the uh, fashion design faculty and this is actually supposed to be like more puffy so not this long and, it ha and it's super nice inside like fluffy and thin and I really like this, it's more statement Then I have this t-shirt that I bought in Alicante when I was there, it's by Thinking Who, I really like that brand. And it's an XL because it was the only size left, but I like it so much I got at this. And I actually like wearing oversized things anyway. And, even, and another bonus is that, you know, if I have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that's like an XL, I know that they will be able to wear Then I have this one, I love this so much, also thrifted. This one, I'm going to post an outfit post on my blog, I'm going to put it in my description. I wore this dress um, for my album pictures. And I really like it. It's by a local brand, Blue Oboard, and they make these clothes really where they also sell them. Also, I really like this one, also thrifty. And this one, this one is so damn cute, also from Blue Oboard. Then this one from a charity shop. This one also thrifted, 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 thrifted. This one is actually like one of the last things I bought before like going ethical. And uh, it's, I really like the model and it's lighter so it's perfect for like when it's not that hot but it's not that cold either, but I don't like that the dyeing is not of the best quality, so yes. Then I also have, I thrifted this dress recently, recently and this, 
this one is actually bigger, so I'm going to ha have uh, to uh, make it fit me. But I really lo love the as I thrifted them from a thrift store like uh, that I don't usually frequent. Actually, this was my first time. There are these. Uh, square with more Swiss stores and things and I thought I should try new ones too. I also uh, love this one but certainly it doesn't fit me as well anymore. And this one you have no idea how much I've searched for the uh, skirt, like for a um, skirt like this. But I finally found it and I'm glad. And then I have my bag too. Then I have my bags right here and that yoga I met. And <clears throat> this one is from Aya Horvat from Slovenia. She's an amazing illustrator, you have to check her out. She doesn't have the stout bags anymore for now, but I really love her. Then I have this backpack that I thrifted and I re had to repair it and it ended up being more expensive than the original one but the company is not ethical so it's better that way for me at least and because I um, ended up being bored of it I started painting it and I will actually continue painting it but now this is what you can see. Then I have this bag that I don't really wear that much anymore and this one like look at this like it's the cutest bag I have ever seen it's so nice. I also thrifted it and I painted on the flowers because the color was faded but I still I think I should still paint the entire bag and and I also have this one also thrifty is I really like bags with like pearls although I'm vegan but I got it second hand so it's okay then I also have this drawer where I like to keep my gym clothes, although as you can see I barely have any <clears throat> and I really need to buy a bit more. But I also have this, since I have the space, I put these clothes that I'm selling on my Depop and I love them and they look so damn nice together. I took a picture and put the, um, and put it on my Depop Instagram and I'm so obsessed with how these look together. They range from XXS to M I think. These things that I have here, I also have other things, although not necessarily as pattern and as interesting but anyway I'm going to leave the link in my description so you can check it check it out like there look at them local brand local brand then i have this one that's actually brand new with the textile on i have this one and this amazing jacket but that's it, the x xxs one and it's too small for me unfortunately This one has ruffles and it's also quite asymmetrical and I also love this umbrella that I got when I was super young from a store that's not uh, here anymore, it does, doesn't exist. Then I have the... Uh, I have flip-flops in that box although I should have checked the package better because I got two flip-flops for the left foot I think and unfortunately when I realized that I couldn't return them anymore I got them in Madrid then I'm going to show you this part here I have my tops mainly I also have a skirt right here but it's big for me so I need to make it fit me. I also have some scarves here. Here I have my uh, 
house clothes. And then a divider here because I have these stubs that I feel should be in, a, in this drawer so they won't fall. I also have this net top. I have I have them color coded too. I got this from Barcelona when I was there last time, and I actually tried it. I actually tried more T-shirts before this, but it was colorful, and I really like that. Like more colorful, I got it. Then this one I really love, uh, like this one from Bucharest. The vintage store in Bucharest, and I love this one. I thrift, I also thrifted this, um, and like look at the is print, look at this print, the pattern. But I think it's more faded now, and I really don't like that it's not made of a natural material because when I sweat, it's not really that nice. Then I have this tops from uh, People Tree. I also got it in Barcelona from Olocuti, which is a store I really love. Mm, it has many ethical and sustainable things. And this was my favorite t-shirt for some time. But now I feel like it's also more faded. Ah, it's also super comfortable, but yes, it's more faded. And then I have this, this. I wish that this was also a natural material. I really like this and this uh, thing texture. Then my volunteering t-shirt that is really nice. I'm keeping it. This one I also got it from Olkuti. Um, it's from Arm Angels, like the brand, but it's sheer, a bit kind of too sheer for me, but I really like it. And I actually wore it in Denmark, and it's funny because uh, as I got there when they had the um, pride things, and I didn't know, you know, I saw it there in June, not in August, but I wore uh, uh, this for and I, uh, for some reason, you know, co uh, coincidence. And I have this. I don't even know why I'm keep, co keeping it on, so I haven't worn it in a long time. Then this one, I really like that it's made of linen too. I got it from that oh, thrift store too. I also love this one, this lavender top, like. I love the color so much. Then I have this one. This one. I have this. I also really like this one. This is not ethical. I bought it in 2017 in April in Bucharest, the first time I was there. And unfortunately, I ironed these two and they aren't cut made of cotton so yeah then I also have this one also from that thrift store that I don't usually frequent and also these that are thrifted and this one is also a bit big then I have here. Here I have my sporty things like the things in plus and some jackets, sweaters, hoodies, blouses. This I really and I really like this because it has like this more interesting sleeve. Although it can get quite uncomfortable when I want to get dre dressed with it. I also really like this one fluffy thing. It's also this one. I love it. Look at it. 
I got it from the vintage store in Barcelona in 2017. Then I got this one. I also love the pattern and the color, like seriously, now lavender. Then I have this one that's actually kind of big, but I really like this um, color, this metallic blue. I have this and I really like this too, like it's th this hoodie is super comfortable, I love this color. Then I have here, I got it for that Enjoy Color at the ink. It's not uh, it's very soft, unfortunately, but I don't know, I really like this, it's like in the Coca-Cola, um, not script. That one. Then this one, it has like a stain or two, I think. I'm not sure, but like if you wear it like different, only uh, you won't see the stain. And I really love this and also pastel. Then this one, um, comfortable, I have to sew the, in the armpit because it has a hole. And that uh, writing is actually just random, like basically water, conduct, tap, something like this means. But yeah, I like how it looks though. I th Then this one, I think I'm going to put it on my Depop store because I haven't worn it since 2016, no, 2017, I think, early 2017, since the ninth grade, like I graduated to not today, I graduated this year, so you know. <laughs> then I have this one, I love this so much. Although, again, it's not a natural fabric. And it's not nice when you sweat. But otherwise, I really like this top. I also like this one, although it's sheer. It's kind of too sheer. Then here, I don't really like the color of this, but it's super comfortable. I actually used to hate fleece. I thought it looked super cheap and stuff, but I don't know, I like it now. And, and yes, it's super comfortable and it's also, like, it keeps you warm, so it's really nice. So then this one, I don't know the color. Also, it's a bit too Faded dark, I don't know how to explain, but I do like it. And this one, I love it. It's lavender violet. And yes, you can see here. <laughs> then I also have uh, this one. Um, and this one I actually mostly got, uh, so it looks amazing, but I also saw it had Made in Vancouver on it. So Vancouver, British Columbia, and I was, I need to get this. And I really like it myself. These are all thrifted. And actually, most of my closet is uh, is thrifted. I really found a lot of nice things, like more interesting, colorful, fun things there. And I'm really good I started doing that. And then I also... You saw that I also have things from ethical brands and local brands, although they are kind of the same thing. And I have very few things left from the days when I wasn't that ethical, when I wouldn't buy that many ethically made things, because I really didn't like them that much. I got them because I like them a bit. And... Yeah, I also got things because uh, like I felt like I needed to buy them. You know how you s see the uh, capsule wardrobe, how you see on Pinterest. You know the, as you need to have like a black pant, a jean, a pair of jeans. How you ha have to have like black sneakers, black shoes, brown shoes. I don't know what, white t-shirt stuff. Like I'm not really into that. I also got these, the color of the jeans from Zara, these red ones. I've never worn them, um, but yeah, I got them because I felt I needed them. And then I got them because I felt they were staple. 
but they were not. I hated them. I actually hated the jeans from Zara anyway. Then I also have things in this drawer. I have some more sweaters. That red one is from my English teacher because it was super cold on that trip and, and I didn't have anything better so she gave me that one, bless her heart. Uh, then I really love this one, I adore this one. Um, and those leaves, like I don't know, they look so cute from Heidi Soto Barcelona. I got them from all Cutitudes and I have jeans. I also really like this one, although it's not really that... Uh, it doesn't fit me that well anymore. And then, don't know if you can see, kind of. I really like, I really love the pattern. Then I have those blue ones from Magpie Vintage in Madrid. Yes, I think in Madrid. I really love this one too. I thrifted it. And then I have more turtlenecks right there. And this bodysuit with long sleeves from a reformation, but I actually got it on Depop from one of my favorite singers. Then I have these shoes, I love them, although I do need to clean those boots. I got these second hand from Bucharest from a yard sale. Although those are not very comfortable, I always injure my feet because of them. Then I love this buffalo shoes so much. I got them of Depop from a girl from the UK and they actually came with uh, black shoelaces but I I find that this violet, I don't know how to explain, like everything in black is better with this color. And I really love those boots. Well, they're from Naya Vegan. They're ethically made in Portugal. I also have uh, the uh, as Nike sneakers they're very comfortable and light i really love wearing them but i don't necessarily like them i got them in 2016 i think like i don't necessarily like the color and then i have these two that i want to change i want to dye them into another color and i don't know what else i want to be honest and finally, I'm going to show you my jewelry. I have rings here. These are from my classmate, handmade by her. These two. And more rings. This wavy one is from Olocuti in Barcelona again. This one is from a local brand and this one from the same one or Febru. And I really like these uh, things from local brands, especially the, the jewelry, because I don't know they look more expensive, nicer. These are all from, I don't know, accessories, things like this, as uh, two are gifted, and yeah, the other one is from Bershka, I think. No, sorry, sorry, virus. And they look really cheap. And then I have here, I really like that ring, but I don't know, it's not really that my style necessarily. And I also have here, I ha have some necklaces and those two um, 
earrings i love them so much those were the first things i bought from our bedroom uh they're amazing i haven't worn them but i love them too much i'm not going to sell them and i need to repair most of those necklaces the heart one was actually gifted to me and I also have these amazing sunglasses, but they are not very protective. I got them from that vintage store in Bucharest. And I have more here. Like, I'm obsessed with these by Sabine. The girl is... is the girl's name is actually different, but this is her brand name. And I love them. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed. Look at them. And, uh, and they're also more textured, these local things are more textured. I also have these ones made of wood by Karin Aranakis. Look at them, they're colorful and stuff. And then I have these from me, me Wooks, I don't know how to pronounce from Bucharest, also from that local store. These were actually bought at a fair. And these, I think, a lot of them are bought at fairs. I really love fairs with these local brands. And then I have more here. I also really like this one. I don't remember which brand was this from. Also from that really amazing store with local, like, more local things, and this one was thrifted. And I forgot to show you this. I don't know why I keep those pins, but anyway, so I have this by an artisan also from a fair. I got these amazing uh, earrings, the cherry ones, she also had lemons and watermelons and stuff like that and, and I really like them and I want to buy more in all <laughs> So this was my closet, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did hit that like button, if you want more hit that subscribe button and, and you can also follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page, check out my blog where I actually post more and check out my Depop store. On my blog I also post more educational content and I will have all these links in my description box. So thank you for watching and maybe see you next time. Bye!